Rose. I'm going to explain C program to implement structures to read, write, and compute average marks and student scoring above and below the average marks for a class of N students. So I'm writing this program using developer C++ uh, tool. Include stdio.h, hash include stdio.h and file you have to include. You are calling structures, you are declaring structures, struct student and uh, the details are care, name is of type care and uh, 20 up to 20 characters you can enter for the name. Roll number is of type int and uh, m1, m2, m3, these are the marks of internals and they are of type integer, int for integers, m1, m2, m3 for you have to enter three test marks and average is also of type int, you can write comma int also or you can write extra one more int and write void main, one bracket, close bracket, then struct student s of 100, gap to 100 students you can have int n i okay n and i of type int sum is also of type int initially sum is equal to zero class average is also zero so you have to enter you have to print some message on the screen so print a okay within a notes you have to write enter the number of students in a class okay colon slash n slash n is for new line Scan f percentage d. We have to enter some number integer value. So that is percentage d, and that will be stored in variable n. So we already declared n as int type. So we have to enter any integer value here. Next, print f. Enter the student's details. Okay, suppose if you enter 5 here, number of student is 5. So we have to enter five times so that's why you have to use for loop and for loop for i is equal to zero i less than that number of students n i plus plus what are the details we have to enter so we already declared here student structure okay so such a student as name should be there roll number should be there and marks m1 m2 m3 marks should be there okay so don't enter average and average enter, we have to calculate using formula so details are printf enter the name slash n means new line scanf it is a string so percentage s yes, and s of i dot name so for the very first no student okay i value is zero so s of zero dot name it is going to store there so whatever name you are going to enter it will be stored for s of zero dot name Next, printf, enter the roll number. So, roll number is integer. So, percentage d, m percent s of 0 dot roll num. Printer, enter the marks in the three tests. So, three marks we have to enter. So, percentage d, percentage d, percentage d, three times percentage d. So, you have to enter integer. Okay. And it will be stored in m percent s of i dot m1 s of i dot m2 s of i dot m3 for struct for everywhere you have to add s of i if struct is not there you can directly write name roll number m1 m2 m3 now for all you have to add s of i okay and for string don't write uh, ampersand here for uh, integers you have to write ampersand 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 like this Okay, now this is repeated how many times? N times because we have entered how many students are there. That is N. If you enter five, five times you have to, uh, this will repeat. If you write 60, 60 times it will repeat. After that, to, to calculate average, okay, for i is equal to zero, again, i less than number of students, N, i plus plus. So again, for average, you have to add, since we are using a structure, s of i dot average is equal to s of i dot m1 plus s of i dot m2 plus s of i dot m3 you have to add uh, first student zero student zero student average is okay 
zero student or s of zero plus m1 you have to add uh, zero student m2 marks you have to add zero student m3 marks you have to add all the three marks you have to add and divide by three three tests are there so you have to divide by three so it will assign the average of these three into the sum one uh, that is s of zero dot average so first student average will be stored there next uh, we have to add all the average values of all the students so for i is equal to zero i less than n i plus plus sum is equal to sum plus s of i dot average five students are there all the five students average marks is there so we are adding all the average marks after that we have to calculate average class marks so average underscore class underscore average yeah class underscore average we already declared here initially sum is zero class average is also zero so class underscore average is equal to sum divided by again number of students n after that you have to print print of the average marks of the class is percentage d it is a integer so percentage d so class average is also declared as integer okay then print of average above average students also you have to uh, display so for i is equal to zero i less than i plus plus if we are using condition we should not display all student you have to check the condition whether the student's average marks is greater than class average so if s of i dot average okay s of i initially s i is equal to zero s of zero dot average okay if it is greater than class average you have to display is roll number and name print f percentage d percentage t means tab space okay you have to give one tab space between uh, uh, roll number and name okay so first it will display roll number and it will display name okay and if you want to display average also you can display print f uh, uh, percentage d s of i dot average you can display average also one more line you have to add so this for loop is in if statement is bracket is ending here this is ending here similarly below average also same statement instead of greater than equal you have to write less than if the student average is less than class average you can display roll number and name also if you want to display average also one more sentence print f percentage f let me try that print f this option if you want you can write otherwise you can leave percentage d okay slash here also you have to use now percentage t only last line you have to use slash n comma s of i dot a v j is average s of i dot a v g same thing should be there similarly here also last this is not required Yes, semicolon should be there. This also you can include here also. So here actually one more tab or last one. So save this. Now you have to compile this. Compile this program zero one in zero errors. Now run this. This is developer C plus plus. 5.11 version. So now you can see you can see here enter the number of students. So I'll enter 5. Okay, enter the name. You can enter Arun. So it is ended one more time. I'll execute. 
enter 5 enter the roll number i will enter uh, ec001 okay oh, i think it is missed once again no, sorry i'll rerun so i'll enter 5 enter name um, roll number C1 it is taking continuously is not asking this one minute So I have to enter uh, only numbers. So enter name as roll number. I will enter one only. Okay. I have to enter EC. That's why it is not because we enter declare roll number as int. So that's why it is automatically come out of that. So to enter roll number only integer, so you can write one not one not like that. So I entered roll number as one. So test marks three test marks. I'll enter as twenty three space twenty one space twenty. Okay, second name. Okay. Next, uh, let. Bamboo. The roll number two. Three test marks twelve twenty three twenty one. Name Chetan. Any name you can give. This number is 3, uh, 24, 25, 25, 25. So I entered the student name as 3. You can see number of students I entered 3. Number of students is 3. Student details Arun, USA number 1. Uh, this is our test marks. So you can see, enter the test marks in three tests. Okay, average marks of class is 21. Okay, and average marks is 21. So above 21, we have Arun and Chetan, 21 and 24, and below average student is 1, is Babu, and his marks is 18. Okay, like that, you can give different, you can enter 5 students or 10 students. For all the 10 students, I made mistake uh, while entering USN. Uh, I entered EC11, so that's why uh, I entered character. Integer only you have to enter 1, 2, 3, 4, up to any 100, 1000. Anything you can enter, but not mix with uh, alphabets. Okay. Thank you.